This is Ask Sarah, where you send me a design question and I give you an answer. Today's question comes from Rhonda in Kincardine, Ontario, Canada. Dear Sarah, my husband and I are just finishing up our master bedroom and after 13 years, we finally purged the old childhood furniture. Good for you. I'm struggling with wall color and bedding choice. This is what I've put together. Durham furniture, Lodo dresser, mirror and chest. The Pottery Barn Rally headboard, custom solid maple side tables courtesy of a local Mennonite to be painted in Benjamin Moore Dune White. Cravat Jelly Bean 1635 accent pillows and restoration hardware vintage mercury glass table lamp. Ooh, that's a mouthful. I love the turquoise color in the accent pillows and I need your advice. Okay. Here's my advice. First of all, I think you've got a good foundation to start with. As you know, I often start with a patterned fabric as the overall jumping off point for an entire room. Why you ask? Well, it's good to have an indicator of the mood, the theme, the feel of the room when it's done. And a fabric, especially a patterned fabric, allows you to get just that sort of insight. Is it romantic? Is it playful? Is it whimsical? Is it traditional? Is it very contemporary? Is it bold? Well, in this case, I think you've chosen a terrific fabric. It has a soft feel to it, so I think you're on the right track. When it comes to bedding, I would look to use a combination of neutral, geometric, or simple prints. Maybe it's a stripe, maybe it's a window pane check. Think of something that incorporates a bit of linen, a bit of a flax tone, and a mix of plenty of white and cream. This will help it feel light and bright, but also it will give it a bit of texture. Now let's talk about whether you have any other prints or patterns in the room. What I like to do is I like to play with scale. So if you're starting out with a big floral like you are, add something geometric like a stripe or a window pane check and then you can also layer in some additional prints. No much is too much in my books, but I do like to play with scale. So what about something that if it just has a leafy vine pattern or integrating a small dot, a small dot or a check in a tone on tone fabric is a terrific compliment. Now, if you're stumped about that wall color, here's my easiest advice. Match the color that you love best in your fabric, which happens to be a sort of a watery green tone. Now look on the paint chip and go up a few colors lighter than the color that matches the color in your fabric and you will have a beautiful complement for your walls. It won't be too overpowering, but it will be lovely.